<clears throat> so, uh, are you gonna intro? Yes. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another Q and A, and Ben Brown, my current boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> current boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. In my house. In your house. In Jeremy's room. In Jeremy's room. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Yes. <laughs> It'll be a really good um push for your channel. Thanks. Exposure and stuff. Yeah. Are you gonna link me? Yeah, I'll link you. Top line? Mm-mm. Let's get straight to it. First question is from Casey. If you could go back in the past and change one thing in your life, what would it be and why? Because you're the guest, you can go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, I'll go first. Mine's pretty simple, but I would just... I would have started creating and uploading YouTube videos whilst I was at university so that I had a longer time to grow my platforms and to experiment with editing and stuff. It's a good answer. Yeah, I'm really bummed that I didn't start this earlier. For me it's actually probably the same. I, I wish I documented way more of my experiences when I was kayaking full-time when I was racing at world championships and trying to qualify for Olympics. I was a professional athlete for 18 years. That's pretty much my entire life. If you're, if you're considering filming stuff for your own documentation, for, for fun, for whatever, there's no better time to start than right now. Even if you don't make it public, I still wish that I kind of knew how to edit because now I take long to edit. Where I could. You you picked it up very. Yeah, I, I picked it up easy, but you could have sped up that process by quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I could be editing a lot better than what I'm doing now. Everybody has to start somewhere at some point. If you if there's something you really want to do, there's no better time to start doing it than right now. That's a good lead up to the next question, which is from Rodrigo. What is one thing that you have not done that you really want to do, and what's holding you back? Space flight. Yeah? Yeah. What's holding you back? <laughs> Safety <laughs> and money. I feel like mine would be a, um, a challenge, maybe a physical challenge. You want to climb mountains, don't you? I want to climb mountains. I don't know if I can... Well, of course I can do it. Of course it, you can. But... Yesterday, Nicole yesterday ran a half marathon, yeah. a marathon for the first, first time. Marathon. It was good. And it was fun. I enjoyed it. Exactly. What's holding me back? Nothing really is holding you back. We could actually do anything that we want to, but we get distracted by what we think is important, which is is important. Things like earning a living, yeah, and education, all these things that we feel like are, are priorities before doing what we really want to do, even if we don't really know what it is. And in yeah. fact, if you don't like, for me, I don't really know what my big goal is that I want to do in life. No, neither. And so I'm just going to do everything that makes me happy. If you're doing things that make you happy and are having a positive impact on the people around you and what you're trying to, what, what you're trying to do with your life, you're going to find where yeah. you want to be. My main goal right now would probably be to see as much as well as I can. There you go. That's a good However, goal. That's so what's done. stopping you? Nothing. I'm achieving that slowly. Yes. Nice Dad Army asks, would you rather lose all of your old memories or never be able to make new ones? It's really deep. I'd rather lose all of my old memories because I'm still young. I mean, preferably neither. But... I've literally been thinking about memories and how they affect you and how they shape you as a person over the last 24 hours while I've been writing as a bit of a voiceover for this film that I'm making. It's so important. Memories are so important. Yeah. And the emotions that are attached to those memories. Yeah. They shape and define who you are. So I, I'd rather not. I'd rather keep all my memories up till now. Really? I think so. You've had a lot more memories than I have though. What are you saying? That I'm old. No, that, that you're older. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, Neil Seals, do you like Ben's tattoos? You don't have any tattoos. No, I would like to get one. You yeah. don't like them, do you? I like the confidence and I like this guy. I like all the little ones. I, I don't you like... You like the boat? Yeah, I like the boat. Okay, good. That's my and favorite. I like that one. Yeah. I don't like okay, well that's... I don't like your skull. That's five you like. And I don't like your turtle. You don't like the turtle? No, he's really angry. Cut to close up of the turtle. It says pura vida, which means pure life. Yeah, no, that's the from message Costa Rica. is... I know, the Look message is Look how happy he cool. is, but he's also badass. He's not, he's angry. Alright, you're not allowed to look at him anymore. I don't look at him. 
So the answer is yes. Yeah. The answer is I like some. <laughs> <laughs> Nick says, is there a place on your bucket list that you two really want to travel together? Yes! We're going. <laughs> <laughs> Are we allowed to say? I don't know. It's I don't your know. Choice. <laughs> no, we might be going to the Maldives soon, which Probably you're wondering why are all YouTubers going to the Maldives right yeah, now? That's true. No, we basically we organise. We've been trying to organise this trip um, with Virgin Holidays for a while, and suddenly it's they, it's all starting to happen at the same time as Louis and Raya are going to the Maldives and John Olsen as well. Yeah. And Chris Rogers is there right oh, now. Yeah. But we're just going on a surfing excursion yeah. basically. When I came out of the womb, I was screaming Maldives. Wait. Yeah, it's really weird. First word, actually. Yeah. Not leaves. Helena says, of all the pet, of all the pet peeves, which is your strangest? Going to people's houses when they have a dirty sink. Because my grand always told me that that's how you measure a person's hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> and if you go to my grand's house, she always was like the most immaculate sink. I like having an immaculate sink. Also when people throw their cigarette butts out their car window. Oh my If gosh. you're smoking, it's your responsibility to put that guy in your car and throw it in a trash bin. You can smoke if you want to smoke. I'm just saying, when I smell secondhand smoke from somebody, that that's my pet peeve. I can't... Really? I don't like that. Yeah. Especially when I'm trying to eat. Mr. Kian Toomey says, how do you both separate life from vlogging? Kian. That's a really interesting question. I love that guy. Well, Kian. <laughs> yeah. Listen here, boy. Listen here, my boy. <laughs> the, the trick is, I think, um, to accept that vlogging, if you're gonna do it full time, is just gonna be part of your life. If you try, try really hard to separate them, you're gonna end up resenting either vlogging or your life. You definitely have to find a balance and it changes as well throughout the year. Like if we're away on a trip, um, doing some tourism work or just on a trip that we really want to document, um, like this Maldives trip that's coming up, vlogging is probably going to take priority over life. The Maldives is probably going to probably going to be a couple of sleepless nights just to get edits done and we're not going to be able to relax in the Maldives too much. But we're going to come away with some amazing content, so it's, it's a balance. What do you think? How, I was just interested after, that we're going to have sleep those nights in the Molly, that's all. We were together before I started vlogging. Yeah. So, <clears throat> maybe you tell me. Well, for you it's different because essentially you are or were 100% a daily vlogger. So, life and vlogging was one of the same. For me it's obviously different, but because I'm still kind of new to it and I want to kind of document all my travels, I really enjoy having, like, vlogging my life when I'm yeah. away. It's like, not in the way, is what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Remember that your audience doesn't know what, what they're missing out on. Yeah, um, that's so true. Yeah. Mm. At the moment, I'm editing the Arctic Visual Vibes, which is about an hour, 20 minutes worth of slow motion premium footage that I shot over 20 days and I'm condensing that down to about 7 minutes or 8 minutes so that's what my life has been for the last 10 days so I just haven't vlogged. This will be the first people I've seen of you in like, what? Yeah I guess, ten, yeah. Can you just say 10 days? Yeah. Yeah. All I've been doing is the odd Instagram story and tweet yeah. to make sure people know I'm not dead. You saw it here first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it so needs, good It all. needs to be nearly done. That's good. It's your best one yet. You think so? Definitely. Oh my gosh. Your mm, negative thoughts. Sam Fraser asked, "What's your take on vlogging, and what kind of obstacles do you face when creating content?" What's your take on vlogging? I love vlogging. I'm still. Good answer. <laughs> I'm still um, a little bit shy to vlog in public, more like in front of people that I know as opposed to strangers. Actually, I don't like vlogging in front of you just because I know really? that you like you know what you're doing. Anyway, apart from that, I really enjoy vlogging. Um, but I think for me, obstacles is when I go away or when I have a particular video that I want to film in mind. I always have these like magical edits in my head before I start filming. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so great. 
and I'm I'm not good enough with the camera yet to get like those nice smooth shots or like I'm very shaky. Yeah, I think for me, obviously vlogging has changed my whole life. So I have nothing but good things to say about it. But I think only recently actually I've become a little less embarrassed about vlogging in public. Especially with a big camera on one of those knobbly tripods. Everybody asks you, what is that? It's that is it. I've never been asked that. Ask George Benson. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what was the original question? Obstacles. For me, the obstacle is the balance of what I actually want to make. And I love making visual vibes films and editing them. But I can't vlog at the same time as those. Trying to decide how I do both is actually accepting that I'm not going to make a video every single day, but I am going to take steps in the direction that I really want to head, which is making more premium, high-end content. Right, see you later. Thanks for sending us your questions on Twitter using the hashtag AskNicoleStuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look at this, I'm Jeremy Loops. Thank you very much for being Jeremy Loops. Welcome to my second Q&A ever on my channel. Let's get started. I don't like sausage that much. I like... I'm not... You know what, this is going to turn sexual and I'm not ready for that in the comments.